Assalamu alaikum YouTubers. Welcome back to SLK Tools. Here in this student problem, we'll check if the column can support the applied load. A nice question was asked from a student about the given column. And the question was just like, can the given mild steel column carry peptin hundred caps load? So I just asked about the column height. He said the column is just 8 feet tall. He also gave me permissions about the cross section, which is just 10 times 10. But the data was not enough to answer the given question. That's why I asked about the end conditions. He said both ends of the given column are penned, are hinged, no problem, whatever you call this. So both ends are penned, are hinged. Now the data make little sense. So let's do some solutions who are here. The question is so clear and straightforward. Let's read it again. Can the given mild steel column carry peptin hundred caps load? Actually, it's a nice question. So I'll check the column for compression and then I'll check this guy for buckling. Let's check the column in compression first if it can carry the given load. So I need just the stress by external load caused in the given column. And the stress is of course just the load or force divided by the area. And the area will be just the sectional area over here. If you see the load is 1500 kip, so 1500 divided by the cross sectional area. Remember the cross section of the given column is just a square. And the area of a square is always at side square. Or side times side. The one side of the column is just 10 inches. So 10 times 10 will be the cross sectional area. Do some maths with the given equation you'll get of course 15 ksi is the stress. If the allowable stress is greater than the internal stress which is caused by the external load, we'll say the column is just okay in compression. Let's assume the mild steel is just a 36. So the allowable stress will be just 36 ksi. And the internal stress is of course only 15 ksi. So 36 KSI is just greater than 15 KSI. So we can say without any doubt, the column is OK in compression. Now I'll check the column for buckling. And this is my next approach. To check the column for buckling, I just need to calculate the buckling load. For this, of course, I can use the Euler's buckling load formula. As pi square EI by L square. Here pi is just a known video. E is the modulus of elasticity of the material. I is just the moment of inertia about centroid. And the L just represents the effective length. Which of course depends upon the end condition of the column. Let's do some plug and chug in like pi square times the modulus of elasticity. Remember we are using A36 mile steel. So the modulus of elasticity of A36 is just 29 triple O KSI times the moment of inertia. The moment of inertia of a square section is just of course the side's power 4 divided by 12. Just put 10 inches as the side. Of course we can get the moment of inertia equals 833.34 inch power 4. So let's put this wheel over here in the Euler buckling formula divided by L square. Now the L is over here little challenging. Which one length should I plug over here in this equation? Of course this L just represent the effective length. If you see the both ends of our column are just penned or hinged. So the effective length will be just equal to the original length. Which means 8 feet as a length can be used for effective length. If you see the 8 is in feet and of course some videos are plugged over here in the Euler equation in inches. Like the modulus of elasticity is in KSI and the moment of inertia is of course in inches. So I need the length to be in inches. Just multiply 8 with 12. Of course we can convert the length into inches. 8 times 12 is just 96. So 8 feet is equal to 96 inches. Let's plug the video of 96 inches over here in this equation. So 96 square. Do some maths with this equation, you can get of course the buckling load equals 25880.8 caps. You can clearly see the buckling load is just greater than the applied load. It means the column is just okay in buckling. So the column can carry 1500 caps so easily without any buckling or compression. 
Just come into a problem, we'll try to bring a nice solution as soon as possible.